And Rob, the ratings came out today for the Super Bowl, and it wasn't pretty. All right, now it was pretty compared to most other sports or all other sports because obviously but it won football Super Bowl is king. numbers, right? But it was a nine percent drop in the ratings from last year. They had ninety one point six million viewers last year, one hundred point four. So, uh, yeah, a drop for the viewership on the Super Bowl is their lowest TV viewership since 2006. That was the Steelers over the Seattle Seahawks. That's 15 uh, years ago. Wow. Yep. What are your thoughts? It's interesting to find out this was supposed to be, and I get that TV ratings across the board, so I'm not picking on the NFL, okay? I'm not. Because I know TV ratings are down everywhere. For whatever reason, All Chris. Sports. sports and television, general television. The only thing that was up big time was news during the political. Right. Because of Trump and, and the Democrats and what was going on in the country and all that. CNN, MSNBC, all of them went through the roof, Chris. I mean, big time. So I get it. But it's shocking that when America was forced to stay in the house, and now had time to watch sports, it decided not to. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I mean, not as much as you thought it would (laughs) be. You got 91 million people. Nah, but but, but it shouldn't go down. the the, country. Still still the worst in, in 15 years, okay? And here's why it's really bad. It's really bad because not just the trends of television in general, Chris, But this was supposed to be the greatest Super Bowl, the greatest matchup. Oh, my God, it's made for theater. Look at the storylines. It's the grizzled veteran Tom Brady going for an unbelievable seventh Super Bowl. If he can make this happen, it's Patrick Mahomes. Chris called the Jordan-S heir apparent, the potential future GOAT. This was supposed All to be. That still applies. No, but but this was supposed to be it. Everybody was supposed to flock. Is this going to be a passing of the torch from Brady to to Mahomes? Was Mahomes going to do? Uh, was Brady going to knock the young kid in the head and say, "Not so fast. You're not taking it over." And people didn't want to watch at numbers, just the same numbers. Chris, forget about an increase. The same numbers. That there was a drop. Are people tired of watching Tom Brady? Is Patrick Mahomes not have a, a hole on it? I told you. Well, my 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 TV counted because it was on. I was grading papers, but it was on, so I it wasn't my drop. But my point is, this was not supposed to happen. This was the marquee matchup. This wasn't two bad teams, two fluky teams that got in the Super Bowl where people said. Uh, I'm not really feeling either one of these guys. They both lucked their way in. They really aren't that good. This was the the prime marquee matchup. This is the one that people should have been salivating to get a piece of history, to watch two Titans meet. And guess what? Some people said, eh, I'll pass. There's a Golden Girls marathon on. There's an Adams Family marathon on. There's an ALF marathon on, (laughs) and they decided to turn the channel. Look, I'm glad, Rob, that you got this little moment because it's been a rough few weeks for you. And here it was handed to you on a platter. Tom Brady didn't blow through the roof in the ratings. Yes, I get to be critical of him. Pat Mahomes, too. That's icing on the cake. I get it. You see the cigarette but, I got? Yeah, I, I see in the baby oil over there on the, on the <laughs> counter, too. Uh, but here's the reality, Rob. First of all, nearly 6 million people watched on stream, online. You add that to the 91.6, and now you're only about 4 million off last year. It's the most live-streamed NFL game ever. That was up two-thirds. From last year's Super Bowl. Here's some more. All of the sports are down. The the college football championship, Alabama, Ohio State, 
It was the smallest audience for a title game in 23 years. Down 27% from last year. The World Series. Dodgers. Mookie Betts. Oh, my God. Dodgers Mookie's and who? about to. Dodgers Mookie's and who? Tampa Bay. Okay. Which, hey, it was Tampa Bay in football, too. Mookie Betts about to win a championship in both leagues. Clayton Kershaw. Is he finally going to win one? Can he be clutch? Can he pitch well in the big moments? Cody, Be- uh, Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, the whole nine yards. Dodgers haven't won it since 88. They're a flagship Major League Baseball fa- uh, franchise. Guess what? Nobody cared. It was the least watched World Series game ever. It was down 23%. From the previous low, not 23% from the year before, ever. 23% down from the lowest ever, which was 2012. NBA Finals, just over 6.4 million. Lowest ratings finals in NBA history. That's with LeBron James. And who? who? many people feel is and the who? GOAT. Miami. Okay. And so, Jimmy so, and Butler was you're running not making a good shot case. over the Eastern Conference. When LeBron was in his first finals, it was low rated. Cleveland against San Antonio. So San Antonio has been I'm in. I'm just giving some context that, you know. No, but the this NBA, is a bigger matchup than those two, Chris. Come on, Tampa and Bay got, and the Dodgers. And they got 92 Miami million, and LeBron. 96 million nah, viewers. Nah, nah. Baseball, go, if it you want to go look at the streaming. Less, Rob, you can go look was, at the streaming for baseball and look at the streaming for the NBA. They all are up. I get it that. It was down But this less, wasn't supposed to be an, NBA, it, uh, an it NFL. Was, it was down less than any other sport. I said it. College football down 27%. Baseball down, who knows? I mean, 12% from the worst rated, not just year over year. NBA Finals, worst ever. Kentucky Derby was down 49% from last year. So, I don't understand it, Rob. Like you said, the news obviously was hot prior to the election. Right. But I, I don't I don't know. Well, I don't know what people are doing. Why why are people not watching this Super Bowl with this matchup, Chris? I'm not saying that the NFL was gonna totally buck the trend, okay? And and well, and they're you, gonna you, have a gain. But, but I'm they surprised less that than any other sport. I, I mean I, so. I get it, but it's February. It's, in the, it's on a Sunday afternoon. It's a one-game winner-take-all. Those games, of course, have uh, – when you know there's a series and, and, and it's a seven-game series, they don't have the same magnitude. If you just had one NBA Finals game or one World Series game, you couldn't afford not to watch. So, so it's a little different compared to spreading out well, over they, seven they nights. Wouldn't have, they wouldn't have got anywhere near what the NFL No, got, but I'm still saying, but it would have been bigger. And my only point is – there's a reason. I think people are tired of Tom Brady. I'm not so sure about Kansas City. I mean, you want to you want to believe that Kansas City ain't America's team. You just got some proof of that because they had a chance to go back to back with this new young hot quarterback. They had just run through the Buffalo Bills, turned it on. Everything was great, and what happened? Rob, who would have done better? Since you want to put it on Brady and Mahomes. What matchup would have got better? No, I'm just, I'm just saying I'm surprised that they, they lost with those two guys. I'm not saying anybody else would have done better. I'm just saying that I'm surprised with that marquee matchup that the NFL looked at the, a 15-year low for the Super Bowl. I'm shocked that Tom Brady winning his seventh wasn't must-see TV for most people in sports America. Well, all, all the evidence says it is – something about sports across the board. And I, I'm with you in that. I thought, you know, if you had asked me before the game, I would have thought, oh, it's going to be, you know, the ratings will be through the roof. But like you said, you got the young goat, or at least perhaps in Pat Mahomes, a team that could start a dynasty. You got Brady in a new uniform going for championship number seven. But my thing is, it, 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 I can't put it on those two. I can't say people are tired of Tom Brady. Although, obviously, some are, but I bet you the people who are tired of him probably watched because they were hoping he'd get beat. But I, So I can't put it on Tom Brady. I certainly can't put it on Pat Mahomes. Rob, you know this. Is there a team that's more exciting than Kansas City? But Chris, I don't think there's a team those, in the league. I, I that's get more, it, but this is the, so I'm just this saying, is the reason why. This is the reason why. on those two. If you want to be football. 
I, I, I don't get it. I'm, I would love to hear. Let's, let's, let's talk to, to the people. I, I would love to find out. Did you not watch? You know, I, like, I, like, I, like I, if anybody at, on our show, listening to our show, calls in and said they didn't watch, I'm just curious. I'd be then, stunned. Or, or, or what do you think is the reason that the Super Bowl was down the way it was with such a marquee matchup? That's all. If this was, uh, uh, I don't know, Green Bay and Buffalo, Chris, or something like that. I Maybe the numbers are been great. worse. That's what I'm saying. But but right. I'm shocked that Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, and who was it? Uh, Tony Romo. Remember, this is the greatest matchup. Then we just there was a big story we did the other day about is this the greatest quarterback matchup in the history of the NFL? And it was right. hands down. That's all I'm saying. Like I'm surprised people didn't well, want to watch this for themselves. Mean it wasn't. The best matchup. Well, the game was terrible, so it was not the greatest well, matchup. Well, one of those was Montana Elway, too, which was 55 10. So <laughs> it happens.